Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are really buggy. Now, unfortunately not for me, and I say unfortunately because I would have loved to experience the beauty in all these clips we're about to watch, but when I play the game, the most bugs I experienced was like getting killed in a shop. Uh, okay, they, they my freaking game crashed when I entered a shop, and then cried on like tripped over a kid and got stuck in a wall. Nothing really as impressive as what I've seen online, but generally I was enjoying the game so much that I went to Twitter excited to see other people excited too, and I just got met with the, the roast. At first I felt wrong for enjoying the game, then I was tapping my feet like where are my glitches? <laughs> Need more of this specific kind of bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't really the worst of them. Two types of bugs, the funny and the terrifying. Oh, <laughs> the character's posing. Okay, so I heard if you pose using the selfie and then you continue playing the game, your character's stuck with that face. I guess that's what happened. Wait, <laughs> who is that? Oh, it's another trainer. You're playing multiplayer. Okay, and then here's Alpha Rat. Oh, I see why he wants to go home. Because he is stuck in the void. Oh, oh never mind! <laughs> he went home! <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> oh, in the grotto. Nice. It walked through walls. It was back. It almost feels like the way they're walking, they knew how to trigger, but... They say in the comments that they didn't. You know, it's funny because I didn't even play with the day one patch and I got basically none of these glitches. The freaking music always gets me. Okay, Foy Coco's gonna freaking die. <laughs> Great job, Gravity. Okay, people are triggering it the same way. Pretty much a float device is supposed to appear below them if they're near the water. <laughs> But if we don't trigger, they're done for. Yo, that's just so unexpected. Hey, y'all discovering these glitches, eh? Is that Dynamax? Oh, they freaking made it up with a sticker in some servers. So this is apparently a demonstration of the frame drop. I've seen what some people said. They were playing on handheld. For me, I feel I don't think it lagged like this. Though, the Pokeball capturing was weird sometimes. Attack on Titan. Okay, I was really scared. I was getting a jump scared. Game <laughs> Freak deserves a round of applause for this one. So I guess this is a good demonstration of what other Switch games can do. I mean, it's hard to freaking compare. Here's Xenoblade and then Pokemon. What I don't understand is how this game has worse graphics and worse performance. The windmill! The windmill! time had more frames than this man i think the word going around is that there's like a, a memory leak so while you progress further in the game it's not unloading the stuff you don't need to see anymore and apparently a patch can make the game run much smoother which would make sense because other games have handled on the switch handled much more than this <laughs> dude it's like, I think when the game figures out someone is stuck, they quickly take them away. And if you're crowding, it's stuck in a wall and you can't move. The game, like, uh, it refreshes for you. So you get unstuck. So it's like Game Freak is aware of the glitches, but it looks like they needed more time to really smoothen everything out. <laughs> game Freak have outdone themselves with these mount animations. She never caught that cyclist. lizard. What's your problem? Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> I the realist, the moment you can see the moment he realizes and starts panicking. At least he could fly. <laughs> 
Damn, why didn't I freaking do stupid stuff like this? <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's so cool. He killed the Pokemon and encountered at the same time. Bro, this is what I live for. I used to try to find glitches in games when I was a kid. <laughs> People played multiplayer, found that little frame where the dude turns giant, and they try to figure out a way to trigger it. <laughs> you will watch this commercial. That's the future. Not only can you not skip, but you can't blink. You can't miss him. Oh, I had this! Uh, Koridon wasn't invisible, but if you looked at the trainer, this man was swinging his head like he was... Ooh, I guess one experience I did have, aside from, like, the low FPS trainers, is the the raids being weird. The raids, like, regenerating health. When I've, act when I've already killed them, their health just comes back. I guess that's the only real bug I encountered. That's such a boring bug. Oh, God. What the f***? What the f***? <laughs> Why? What, what is this? I didn't mean to do this as... What the? This guy's stuck in what some weird POV. Yo, Mario, thank you for the five, man. I'm gonna go sleep. What the fuck is this guy doing? You see that? And the more I scroll, I see a bunch of people who are enjoying the game. For me personally, I was off the internet for like a whole month. You know, leading up to Scarlet and Violet and when I was playing the game. And you can see when I'm recording the episodes that I'm enjoying everything. Even though I guess there were problems in the background. But for me, it's just never bothered me. This is a compilation video. It is weird that that's officially in the Pokemon game, isn't it? Hello, how are you? I am under the water. <laughs> that man trying to get home. Okay, this spot's gonna just... Okay, I've had that happen to me. I just made it happen through this video and there, nothing was happening of interest than that out of nowhere. You know, I guess the more I go through Twitter, I notice a, a line between people who experience many glitches and then experience nothing. Like some people saying, my camera gets stuck in every building I leave. But then other people who just barely get any glitches at all. No matter how much I did enjoy the games, the argument is always valid that this is like the most uh, ludicrous game not lucrative game in the world they make so much money that this stuff should not be happening if anyone else was cut off from the internet and other people's opinions what was your thoughts when you played pokemon scarlet and violet because for me i was in the hype of only having my own opinion i was like this is the best pokemon game ever and then i went to twitter and quickly shut my mouth like okay i'm not allowed to say this out loud and if you think about the people who paid like you know just 80 bucks just got it from the store and come back and experience a bunch of glitches 80 bucks is a lot. I gotta let the Scarlet and Violet hype die down for myself and then I'll really know. Anyhow, that's it. Shank that like button. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.